YouTube, how the fuck you doing? Hey guys, Nate Shaw. Today, I'm bringing a brand new video. What we're going to be talking about today is exactly what you saw in the title, and I'm going to try and help you guys become a better team. Now, I don't have all the answers. I don't claim to have all the answers, but I figured I can do my best to help anybody kind of improve whether they are playing as a competitive Call of Duty player on a team, or if they're just doing clan gaming while playing pubs, search and destroy, TDM, whatever it may be. Whatever you do with your free time on Call of Duty, you probably play with a team. I know most of you guys aren't going solo dolo in a playlist and playing. And we've been doing a lot of team building exercises while we've been at the Red Bull Esports Studios, and we still have a week left. But today was a really amazing day because we learned about ourselves and we learned about our teammates. And we had to take, like, not, it wasn't really a personality test. But it, we had to rate ourselves with certain qualities. And at the end of it, you added all these numbers up and subtracted and then divided. And then it would put you in a quadrant. One is at, for every different characteristic a person might have. So today, we found out why Clayster and I argue so much. is because Clayster and I are really are the same person. We, we're drivers. We like to be leaders. We like to direct traffic. We make split decisions. And we want every one of our teammates to be on the same page. While Proofy is more of a person who, who is almost a driver, he wants to try and be that, that leadership role, but he understands his place on the team. He's really laid back. He's a lot of fun to be around, and he brings like that, that comedy to the team. And Scump is the type of player who needs a lot of time to make decisions. He likes to take all the data in. He likes to take all the information that's going on around him and use it to his advantage. And that's why Scump is such a methodical player. That's why he's always playing so slow, and that's why he's always taking his time with the things that he is the decision that he's making. So Proofy and Scump are like the yin and yang on our team. Like they are two guys that just attract to each other. But Clayster and I are two guys that butt heads a lot because we all want to be making the decisions for our team. We all want to be the players that are calling the shots and directing traffic because we know in our heads that this is the right decision. And, and today we really finally found that out. I, I mean, Clayster and I are smart guys, so we always kind of knew that we were very similar and that's why we would disagree so much. But to have some like an expert actually tell us, like, yes, you are chemically circuited to disagree with each other because you just have the same traits. And so what I'm really getting at by giving you guys this backstory is it really takes a, a group of guys to be understanding of each other and their opinions and their decisions to make a successful team. Now, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Some days I don't wake up in the best mood. And some days I can be a jerk or I can be an asshole. And it, it sucks because deep down I know that like the tone of voice and the attitude that I have that I'm portraying on my teammates is not healthy. It's not good. But some days I really just can't help it. And I, I, I try my best to get out of the mood that I'm in. But it, it's really tough when I'm streaming like eight hours a day. And you guys have to see me every single day. So you guys see me at my best and you also see me at my worst. And what today's exercise really helped me figure out is I need to be not only a better leader, but I need to be more understanding of my teammates and the personalities that they have and the decisions they make. Because a lot of your traits that you have as a person also relate to like how you make decisions and how you go about certain situations. So today it really helped me realize that I just need to be a more understanding person of Clayster's opinions. I need to be more understanding of Proofy and Scumpy and the, just the way they go about playing Call of Duty. And I, I really think today made a big difference for us because it, it really gave us some insight to who each other are. I mean, we've, we've been teaming for a while and we know what each other are like, but this kind of, you know, it made sense. It was concrete in front of us. Someone laid it out. And, and that's really what I'm getting at. Like, if you guys have teammates that, you know, sometimes you get a little upset with them because they make a bad play or sometimes you might get upset with one of your teammates because they do something that you wouldn't have done or they disagree with your opinion. It really comes down to you guys just like being able to respect each other and respect the decisions that everyone is trying to make because in, in, in reality, you guys all have a common goal. You all want to win and you all want to be successful. And at the end of the day, that's what everybody is trying to do when they're playing Call of Duty. Everybody just wants to win. Everybody wants to have a good time and everybody wants to prosper and be successful. Successful. And the only way to do that, especially when you're working with another group of guys or you're, group, you're working with a team, is to be understanding, respectful of people's decisions, go over mistakes, 
I, that's that's one big thing too is like a lot of players including myself don't like to be told that I'm wrong and usually most of the time I only argue with my teammates or disagree with them when I know I'm right 100% but that's really not all, always the case so like I know that I've been kind of repeating myself in this video but there really are just simple steps that you can take to become that cohesive unit that you want to be and that's just being respectful going over your mistakes after the game, you know, taking the time to put extra effort in to being, you know, a better teammate for your your teammates and just being a better leader, whether you are the leader of your team, I just got a chem strike. And it, it just, at the end of the day, you have to be the best person you can be to improve as a team. Now, I'm going to even use the lessons I learned today to try and become a better captain, to become a better leader, and to not be in those moods and to not be a dick or not be an asshole so I hope this video kind of gave you guys some insight and understanding to what I mean um, just understandable understanding respectful and just make sure you guys can go over your stake mistakes hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you very much for watching and YouTube we'll see you fudging later